Today, I'm going to explain why it's not always possible to remove the outer CV joint from the axle and why, in some cases, the joint housing can crack. Hi everyone, in the last video I showed how the outer CV joint boot on my car tore. To keep the joint from losing grease and to prevent sand and water from getting in, I wrapped it in a bag. Now it's time to replace the boot. However, things didn't go as planned. As usual, I removed the axle along with the joints and then started screwing in a bolt to pull the CV joint off the axle. In the end, the thing I feared most happened. Look, the joint housing cracked. The problem is that the circlip on the axle wouldn't let the CV joint come off. I tried hitting it with a hammer and even used a puller, but after applying a lot of force, I ended up breaking the housing. As you can see, cracks formed all around. I wanted to replace just the boot, but now I'll have to replace the entire joint. In the videos where I showed how to replace the outer CV joint, people pointed out in the comments that I was installing the circlip incorrectly. Since I placed the circlip on top, it stretched out, and during joint removal it prevented the CV joint from sliding off the axle. The bearing race and cage are still on the axle. No matter how hard I hit it or use the puller, I just can't get these parts off. The circlip is applying a lot of force, so now I'm going to take a cutting wheel and gradually grind down the race. After I cut the cage and almost completely removed the race, I was able to push the race back enough to expose this strange circlip and take it off. Look at how stretched out the circlip is. That's why it wouldn't let the joint come off. As you can see, my mistake was placing it on the shaft in this way. The circlip stretched out and during joint removal it started to jam. Alright, the race is off. I chose another joint from Mail again, because this CV joint was from that brand, and it lasted 5 years. Only the boot tore, but the joint itself didn't make any noise. On the other side, I also have a male joint that hasn't started making noise either, and it's about 5 years old too. The only weak point with these joints is the poor quality boots. From my experience, they last about 5 years, so this time I'm going to use a different boot from GKN, which was on the original joint. And this time, the most important thing during assembly is not to forget to install the circlip correctly. Don't put it on through the small notch, that will stretch it. Instead, place it on the axle from the side like this. Place it here and carefully install it this way. Now let's reassemble everything in reverse order. Hopefully, the next time I need to take it off, there won't be any problems. That's all for now. See you soon.